Hello, hi, Susana Bauman here from Latinas in Business. How are you? Today we have a little bit of background music. No, classic um, Latin, Latin music. And uh, we are getting a little more sophisticated each time. We, uh, I'm learning more things. So uh, today we are uh, uh, again uh, interviewing someone who is going to be uh, awarded during our 2020 Women Entrepreneur Empowerment Summit to uh, happen in uh, virtual, virtually in LinkedIn and Facebook and YouTube on July 30th from 1 p.m. to 2.30 p.m. Eastern Time. Wow, I see a lot of people here. Hello, hello, hello. You can uh, type your questions for our interviewee, uh, interviewee today, which is this fantastic uh, uh, lady that I love dearly. And she is Tenille Ortiz. Tenille uh, participated in one of our um, in, uh, pitch competitions and she got, she was second <laughs> in the competition. She has a fantastic idea and I'm going to get her in. Tenille, are you there? Yes, there she is. <coughs> I'm sorry, I'm a little bit uh, with a lot of... Um, <coughs> Hang on, I bet, oh, hello, Tanil, are you there? I don't see um, your request. Can you resend the request, please, to get in? Hang on, we're telling more followers to join. Hi, hello. Okay, Elinette, wave. So, um, as I said, we are going to interview uh, Tanil, who is going to receive a, um, there she is. She's going to receive the one of the Leader of the Month awards during this fabulous event that we're putting together on, on July. Uh, hey, hi. Hi. hey, how are you? I'm good, Susana. How are you? Um, I'm very good. Always with good company, always good. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, this is very exciting. Thank you so much for taking the time to talk to me today. So, um, I'm, I'm, I have new glasses. What do you think of these? I saw new... that. I love them. I love yes. them. I They're actually love... need my glasses. <laughs> they're a little, uh, a little more. Uh, the other, the other ones were square, and these are a little more, um, like, cat looking. I don't know. <laughs> cute, they're nice. They're yes, nice. yes. Uh, I still don't see very well because um, they're bifocals, so I have to take them back to adjust. But anyway, okay. I wanted to you now use them with you today. Yay. And. Uh, <laughs> And um, so we have your information there. Um, you are going to be, as I said, one of the Latina uh, of the Month um, awardees on July 30th. And we are so, so happy to have you. Thank you. You, you missed the, the big prize by a, you know, by a hair. I know, and I was upset, but I was happy to lose to someone that was just as amazing yeah, there were so many women out there doing, you know, beautiful things. So what she was standing for, um, Martinez, uh, Mar martial yes. arts, right? Martial yeah. arts, yes. Yeah. Dance for is something amazing. So it was happy to lose to her. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Well, we're never happy to lose to, you know, to lose a, a big prize, you know, a big award yeah. like that one. But, but you always come back. Light. Look, um, Ipatia Lopez from Empanada Fork. She didn't win the first the first year. She came back, and she won the second year. So you never know. You yeah. have to just keep, you know. And and the price is only going to go up and get better. You know, the, those first years, believe it or not, we didn't give anything. It was just a little a recognition, and uh, and they did it anyway. 
so um, each year we are adding more uh, benefits to everybody that is uh, participating. And obviously, hola, Juan Carlos, hola. <laughs> and uh, lots of uh, hearts sending your way. Uh, and uh, every year we add more to the pitch competition, more prizes, more sponsors want to participate. And uh, this year we had 18 girls uh, that, um, that participated. So uh, that registered. And then we have to make a pre-selection to only leave uh, 10 finalists for, um, because we, 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 need, we have certain requirements, as you know. Mm -hmm. yep. So how was your experience for the pitch competition? How, were you nervous? Were you Oh, excited? I was so nervous. I was so nervous. I don't do well with public speaking. Um, so I kind of threw myself in there because I wanted to, I wanted to kind of get my feet wet in that um, regard. But I did it. Um, and I was happy that I did it. But I have to say that the opportunities that it has provided for me, the network that it's provided for me, I mean, I'm in uh, from that competition, I was given um, a scholarship to the Rutgers EPI program um, for uh, urban yes. development. And I have to say that what I've learned in this program, we're still in the middle of it. And I, and she, uh, what's her name? Uh, Martinez Mariela. She's uh, my cohort in that program. She's, uh -huh. um, it's just amazing. It's, you know, the, the information, it's, it's such an intense program, but the information that we're getting to be able to scale our business and really, you know, leverage all of the, um, right, right. you know, the education from that. It's just, it's just amazing. The value that it provides and the knowledge is so important yeah. for you to make yeah. decisions because see, for instance, when it comes, well, let's talk first before we get into a more deep conversation about business, um, which I know you have incredible uh, ideas and you are very creative. Why don't you tell your, you know, our, our, the people who are uh, watching, what is your business and what what are you doing? Uh, sure. And uh, you have a you have a super cute, super super fantastic business. Yeah, so I opened up a business. I started with cupcake, um, custom cake design. I opened up a custom cake boutique um, called the Ellenette Cake Collection. And we were doing um, wedding cakes and all specialty cakes for about 12 years before uh -huh. we opened up something called the Cupcake Carriage. So uh -huh. I added a service for cupcake decorating birthday parties because I found that it was hard to scale a custom cake boutique. Um, so I tried to figure out a way to be able to scale this. So we opened up. Yeah, there and there it is. <laughs> That's the Cupcake Carriage Clan. But um, we opened up this service. Uh, we started it off without the mobile bakery and then added the mobile bakery. Uh -huh. um, so uh -huh. the children enter the mobile bakery and they decorate their cupcakes and their um, cookies, their sugar cookies, and they celebrate their birthday on the truck. Um, and because we have leverage to all of these children, we wanted to make this business purposeful and, and uh and um, build the workshops to have a message. So some of these workshops, um, you know, they, they send the message of entrepreneurship and leadership skills along with uh, diversity and, um, and, you know, all just confidence in general. We just have a nice right. message. And right. in 2021, we, we want to have the, more, the workshops more focus driven to each topic. Um, to give right. parents, you know, the opportunity to choose what they would like, um, but also so that, you know, they were, we were serving our purpose. Um, I just feel that it's important to teach children while they're being creative and they're doing something that they love because it's yes. more engaging and we just feel like it would make a bigger impact that way. Exactly. It's um, while they're having fun and while they're having, uh, like you said, uh, their, their creativity developed, it is a great opportunity to have these conversations, like these important conversations. And I see that with my granddaughters all the time. 
Uh, and uh, the other day I got a little bit into <laughs> into trouble with my son because I was talking to them. We were playing and we were talking about, of course, having a feminist a grand, a grandmother. We were talking about <laughs> who is the boss of me. And uh, <laughs> so you are the boss of you. And then the, the nine-year-old went to uh, went home, and, and, and when the father told her to do something, she said, you are not the boss of me. Your mother <laughs> said that you're not the boss of me. Your mother said. Your mother. Your mother said. So, uh, you know, and uh, of course then we had to clarify the whole thing, but but it's it's important that we while we're playing and having these conversations that they get really the message and not uh you know like you said so um especially this year with all the the the, the pandemic and the travel you know the black matters black black matters um issues that we have been going through what have you done to pivot your business into opportunities I have to say, you know, just even building this business, if you look at my truck, I represent all people of color. It's, uh, it was important for me to put somebody black or brown on, on my truck um, along with, you know, we have, it's just diverse. Um, that was something that was very important to me because we have to have things that represent us, you know? Right. Um, in the um as far as the black lives matter you know we just i just think that it's important that we all talk to every type of you know potential client every customer um right. you know right. of all walks of life you know and and people of color have to be represented so i think the you know the cupcake carriage represents that correct yes exactly uh, you know so you bring all all uh, children. Children really don't have that sense of uh, discrimination. It's it's something that they acquire, obviously, through messages that they are, you know, um, they're taught or or in different. It doesn't have to be necessarily the parents. Uh, sometimes uh, it's the school. It's the other environments that they they go and they frequent. So. You know, sometimes they get those messages and little children tend to, you know, copy uh, what other kids do. They want to belong, right? So if something, uh, um, you know, like, for instance, mine are in the age of everything is girls. Our oh, boys are girls. Boys, you know, it's like, yeah. you know, yeah. We, so we have to talk about all those things. Yeah, no, I think on the cupcake carriage, it has a great message. You know, we have boys wearing pink aprons. And we have girls talking about, you know, owning their own businesses one day. And we have, you know, all different Fantastic. colors being represented on the truck. So I think, you know, in order to pivot, you have to speak to everyone. You know, that's, right. that's, that's the first step in collaborating. You know, you have to speak okay. to everyone, not just one race. And um, I think, you know, my business represents that. Right. And Tanil, you mentioned something that now uh, you're still cater doing some catering, right? Doing well, some it's the, in the custom cakes, yes. We took a little yes. break from it because we're focusing more on scaling the cupcake carriage, but okay, uh, yeah. Right. Obviously now, you know, it's, 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 you can't get people, you know, involved or you have to have some some sort of social distancing or whatever. Yeah. You may also mention something about corporate events that you were doing. Oh yeah. So with um with the COVID situation, we were actually bringing in a lot more birthday cake. Custom cakes are hard to scale because they're not they're very pricey. Um, right. So right. we were doing more of the bigger events we 16s weddings but throughout covid no one really had a way to celebrate and so the way that they were celebrating was in the house so we were doing a lot more smaller cakes um uh -huh. and then we were doing the birthday parades with the with the cupcake carriage okay. so i was able to do that um we are not able to do the workshops on the truck right now because of the right. social distancing and you know we're 
kind of dancing around the idea of just allowing five children. That was my only COVID party, the one that that's on the screen. Uh -huh. uh, but we what we're what we were focusing on were more the birthday parades. And then I had to change the business model to stay afloat. So we ended up opening up in um, in Hoboken for retail. So we're opening. Oh, yeah, so we're nice. Opening up, Congratulations. Yeah. Thank you. And it's really, you know, it's given us a nice steady cash flow. We've been able to, um, you know, to sustain the business and keep the doors open. And now it, I, I really do foresee like the 2021 being a great year because now we have retail and the private events. Correct, correct. So the retail is in a uh, mortar and brick uh, type of sh shop or is it no, in the carriage it's, itself? It's right in the carriage itself. We have, ah, a, yeah, we fantastic. have a few setups. Yeah, the setup that you're seeing right now is for the workshops, but we have another setup where um, we set up and it looks like a beautiful cupcake boutique. So it's getting a lot of buzz in Hoboken. My followers actually go to Hoboken to buy things and we're selling um, uh -huh. cupcakes and, and cake pops and cookie kits, um, all beautiful, beautifully designed things. So it's not like your typical food truck. It's a beautiful experience. Right. Right. And then we right. also have coffee and things like that. Nice. Excellent. That is yeah. a great idea. Ah, okay. And where, where are you? What are you parked or how do you, how did so, you... How did you manage with the uh, with the city for that? Sure. So I got um, my, I have a permit and we had to get a parking permit um, and we, uh, and a food truck permit in Hoboken. And then we are right, we're look, overlooking the water right on Sinatra Drive. So it's a beautiful, nice. yeah, you can go and, you know, enjoy ice cream or cupcakes or, or coffee and then just enjoy the water. And there's a little spot for uh sprinklers with the kids um beautiful it's a nice place for social distancing so yeah it's a nice it's a nice little setup and a perfect place for the cupcake carriage all right so give give the the audience the exact location if they have to put in the gps sure so it's between third and fourth street on sinatra drive it's pier a in hoboken perfect okay yo so you guys everybody visit and go enjoy those beautiful cupcakes and uh, ice cream. I wish I, I would be a little closer to you. I'm in Lakewood, so I'm a little far. But yes. I would love to see the, uh, the, the carriage itself and, you know, and how it works. And uh, it definitely is something that uh, I'm sure. Uh, have you ever thought about, for instance, doing something with schools or doing something with uh, fundraisers? That yeah. sort of thing. Okay. Yeah, so we do provide fundraisers. We're working with Girl Scouts. Um, court, we're doing many corporate events. That's also, you know, in between time. There's times that we're actually not at, in Hoboken because we're at a private event. So we will post that. So if everybody follows us at the Cupcake Carriage, we post where we're going to be and what our menu is. Um, if we have a private right. event, we, we skip the day. Um, but we will let you know where we'll be. So if you wanted to come by and see us, you can see us there. But we're doing um, summer camps, um, corporate events, uh, business events, um, team bonding, all sorts of things on the truck. You know, the possibilities are endless. And exactly, they're all customizable. Yes. yes, exactly. Yes, it just have to be uh, kind of mushroom the idea, you know, it make it grow in little builds, all the different directions uh, with from the carriage itself. And I'm sure that that will be, bring a lot of possibilities uh, for you guys. And then you can also maybe, how expensive is to build that carriage? Uh, <laughs> you know, the person that built my carriage is actually on this thread. He's watching. His name was Miguel. He's amazing. Hi, Miguel. Um, <laughs> yes. Miguel, he's, um, you know, it was very expensive. It was, you know, it's a lot of work, but, you know, my husband is in the contracting business and Miguel's a very close friend of ours. So we were able to save, <laughs> but it's, it's an right. expensive, you know, it's an, ex it's an expense. Definitely. It's um, an expense. So did you build it on top of what a, a, a truck that, that you guys had or 
Or no, bought? it was it was basically an old UPS truck. I bought it from a friend of mine. Oh, yeah, had it. yeah, she had it as a uh, she was um, her business was a mobile boutique. So she was selling retail clothing. And, um, you know, the business wasn't taking off. New York City's a different breed when it comes to licensing and, and uh, things right, like that. So right. she sold it to me. And, I, uh -huh. and I, just re, I redid it and made it mine. Beautiful. I love it. I, my picture is right there. But now that I see the picture, you know, my picture is on top of the window. But now, oh, I, I, I don't know if I can move it. Um, but um, now that I see it, yes, it that totally looks like a, a U.S. post office. Uh, old, old yeah. <laughs> I love that. I love that idea. So, um, so that that is that is a fantastic, fantastic idea. Because the other thing is, cupcake. A lot of people make cupcakes. A lot of people. There's a lot of competition in this field of um you know bakery and uh, and i've seen your work your your cake collection i've seen i've seen pictures and they're just absolutely astonishing i mean i don't even know how you, you. that's what i put uh, the queen of cupcakes because <laughs> i mean you 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 the the job that you do uh, where did you train tenil so i was Yeah, so I was mostly self-taught. I um I took wow. a, yeah, I took a silly little class when I was pregnant with my second son, uh -huh. um, who's now 10. And then, you know, I did it, you know, to be able to make his cakes and and my other two sons cakes and then everybody started to order and I and I developed a passion for it and so I just taught myself more techniques and And cre I'm just a natural creative. I get that from my mother. Um, uh -huh. So I just took that, off, you know, I took, I took off with that and I, and I made the cakes, you know, I designed the case. I think that is more my specialty, the design more than the actual production of the cake, because I just, my mind and my ideas just go crazy. Right, um, right. But I think, you know, just, just to speak to the fact that other people do this, I think you're right. There's there's a lot of people, there's a lot of competition, but I think it's important when you have a business, you know, to understand that only you can do it the way you can do it. And when right. you do something for a service, and I think that's what the LNA Cake Collection and the Cupcake Carriage does, we do it not only for the cake, but we're we're bringing all things pretty and sweet to life's most precious events. So I think when you do that and you're and you're producing a cake, or you're designing a cake with the thought in mind that there's somebody being celebrated or there's an event of life being celebrated. It just, it adds a different touch to it. And I think that that's what we do differently from everybody else. Right, right, right. Absolutely, absolutely. The, the service, I always say um, that, uh, um, it create, of course, the product is, is, is super important. But the service is also so important, the friendliness, the, the caring, the details, the, uh, the, the caring to the, to the person's people. needs and, and feels and how people feel about. Because you probably, you are in a, in a happy business, which is celebrations, right? So yeah. you don't want to be upset because of lack of service on the opposite you wanted to enhance it you want to make it fantastic and you want them to make it a de yeah, definitely a fantastic experience right Absolutely. and that is that is what makes you being punctual being ready being what makes you you right, right. Right. And taking care of all the little details that make this, this special occasion so, so important. And I'm sure that people are willing to pay the service when they're happy. Right? Yes. Yes. Yeah, Most of the time. Have, <laughs> yeah, we have a lot of repeat customers. I mean, Tim Asad is on here supporting me. Um, we do DJ Khaled's son, Asad Khaled's uh, birthday every year. And they're here supporting me. So, Hi. But I, I just want, you know, what was I just going to say? Um, we, are, we don't take that for repeat. granted. Repeat, yeah, we yes. have 
repeat customers and you know we we start off with their baby shower cake and go i mean their bridal shower cake and we go to their wedding and then to their baby shower cake and their first birthday, right, right, birthday. Right. so you know we're growing with our clients and we have a a really nice relationship with our clients we we we're with them for many years so you know we just we don't take these cakes for granted they're they take a lot of time to make and right, um right and you know we always have the client in mind right right that's exactly right and that's what positioning means a business to position a business is to make it unique different from the competition so that next time like you said there is no better business i repeat businesses you know when the client is happy they come back they refer you I had a business for over 20 years and I never advertised my business because it was all referrals. It was business to business. Uh, that's true. But it was all always referrals. And right. that's what makes you uh, different from other services. Yeah. So, so tell us, are you excited now to get your award? I am, Suzanne. I'm very honored. I really am. Um, you know, we all work very hard and it's nice and it's an honor to be you know, included in, in, you know, a group of such wonderful women doing such huge things. Um, you know, just the friendships and the collaborations I've made through Latinas in Business is just something that you can't put value on. Um, Thank you. And I, yeah, I really, I respect what you're doing for us because I realize that there's, I mean, there's no game, but more personal satisfaction for you. It's just a uh, it's, you know, what you do to support us is just amazing. Even with this EPI program, um, you know, I'm, I'm extremely grateful. So I want to say thank you. You're very um, welcome, Tenel. Um, Latinas in Business, um, I, I founded, founded this organization not with my name on it, but with Latinas in Business name on it, because this organization is all about the entrepreneurs and especially the small entrepreneurs, not the, not the ones that are just starting out with an idea, the ones that are already established and they're growing and they're struggling to, to grow because the, the worst part of, this, of building a business is to take it from the startup, which is all excitement and everything is, you know, and, and, and to making it stable and growing it. So that's, that's where we come in and that's why we offer these this free promotions and, and, and social media campaigns and feature articles and we put that, you on, on stage and you put, put yourselves on stand. And, uh, and we also can help with other information like, like you, we were talking and I never want to hear again you say, I didn't want to bother you. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I know, I know. <laughs> I know it's, it's hard, you know, it's just hard. It was a big, it was a hard time, you know, with COVID and asking all these questions. There was a million people that had questions, but you know, I do, you know, I do realize the power of collaboration and I, and I, and I understand how important it is to have a circle that you can reach out to, especially yeah. with Latinas, you know, Latin, 90% of the Latinas building businesses are bootstrapping. They're doing mm -hmm. things, mm -hmm. you know, with grassroots from the bottom up. And yes. it's hard learning on your, you know, on your own when you don't have a lot of capital to make mistakes. So exactly. it's important to have this collaboration. You know, it's, a, it's important to, to be able to reach out to other women, like-minded women that want to see everybody grow and want to see everybody do well because it's, we're, the strength is in our numbers, you know, exactly. I think. Exactly, exactly. You know, yes. So. Yes. yes, it's a very Latina thing. And I always say that, Everybody thinks that access to capital is one of the big, biggest obstacles, and it is true. It is one of the biggest obstacles. But working in isolation, and I know this because I did it myself. I thought that all the responsibility of building a business was on my shoulders. And that was the time, I imagine, I started my business in 96. Then there was no internet. There was no uh, Instagram. You know, there was say so barely you had some chambers, and uh, that was it. And now we can communicate. Now we can, uh, you know, give give out all the information. So that's why I build this community. We have to 
stay together. We have to share the information that we have. And, and then that's when everybody's going to grow. One grows, everybody, you know, grows yep. together. Absolutely. Right? Absolutely. So, Absolutely. well, thank you so much again. Please um, register for this fabulous event. The registration is free. And you can find it on Eventbrite. It's uh, 2020 WEES at uh, that eventbrite.com. Okay, Double, 2020 WEES dot eventbrite. It, it is right there, but you can't even yeah. see it because it's a little too small. I'll post it on my page as well. Okay. It's on July 30th between 1 and 2.30. Exactly. And yep. the, um, the award starts at 2 p.m. So um, for everybody, if they can't go, you know, in before, but they want to see you, then that, that's the time that the award ceremony is going to start. We have a fabulous uh, event. We're going to have speakers. We have a celebrity speaker with Albania Rosario, who is our fabulous founder of um, fashion designers of Latin America. Albania, it works in an industry that is so demanding, okay? But she, she has this sense of community that you can imagine. You're going to be shocked by Albania. I can guarantee you. Oh my God. All right. Yes. 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 She's, she's super smart. Uh, and, and everybody else. And, uh, and we are putting this event together. Thanks to all you, all of you. Yeah. So thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you. Did you did fantastic. You were nervous, but you. I was nervous. Yes. Was and so now you happy. are happy. Right. <laughs> yes. <I'm> happy. <laughs> Okay. All right. I love you. I love you. Dearly. I love you too. Best, best luck with your business. I, I, I really enjoy your idea and uh, I think you're going to do great. Thank you very much. Thank Bye. you. Bye. Bye. Thank you everybody. Bye. I'll see you tomorrow Bye. again. Back at 6 p.m. Okay. Same time. Bye-bye. Thanks for joining guys.